you know, one of the reasons I wanted to chat today is because you've been working on some really cool uh, AI projects. Um, and obviously AI is big right now. But I figured we'd just go ahead and start talking about the first project, or at least the first project that I was aware that you were working on, which is called uh, Dressed by AI, which is a really interesting idea. Um, and I just want to hear a little bit more about you. Obviously, we'll put stuff on the screen. And then also, if you want to kind of dive into the developer side of like any uh, you know challenges um, that you ran into while building it, uh, and also the, the kind of the tools behind it um, that you're using to, to bring it to life. I'd love to hear more about it. Uh, sure. So basically, uh, just by AI came from this notion and seeing the development in the diffusion-based generative technologies. Uh, so uh, I was really uh, tracking the progress as it happened a couple of months ago. Uh, there was like rapid development with the stable diffusion uh, released and 1.4, 1.5 versions, like all the changes and image to image features, capabilities. And I had this urge to build something out of it. Like I, I inherently felt that there's so, so many possibilities to have that do something that wasn't easy or achievable before it and uh, I basically brainstormed with my wife like what we could build that and uh, one of the stuff I showed her is the on the reddit stable diffusion subreddit there was a guy who posted his child's drawings and made them into like, real life examples. Mm -hmm. And there was a, one person that did that for uh, clothes. And my wife was really keen on seeing that. Like she sold me the, the idea of doing that as a project. Like I, I knew it won't be, uh, it will be feasible because I saw people already doing it manually. Yeah. Like uh, if they provide, like made the example where they uh, shared the picture and they have something that looks like a real photo out of it. I knew it's manually achievable, so that's just a process of automating it. So out of that, the need for creating and the idea, I started, I started building uh, immediately. Uh, I, As I mentioned, I, I'm a full stack developer, so I, I basically took uh, TypeScript and uh, started writing it in Node and uh, React as a front end. Um, Initially, I put something, I think, in a week or two, just like a baseline. I used the, the API for that is actually Stable Hard. It's a community-based service uh, API that allows you to use Stable Diffusion because normally okay. you can use it uh, normal uh, on your PC. You can install it and run it manually, but that is hard to maintain as a service. Uh, so you have your PC running guards. So this community-based hard is you actually commit your hours of or not, and you can receive like a, a kudos point, which then you can use up uh, when, when you actually need them. So that was that part. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you have any specific yeah. question. Yeah, for one, that's a very, uh, probably most folks watching this have uh, some level of development experience, I, I would imagine. And that's just a very, uh, it's a very normal uh, kind of process for a developer to be like, you know, well, well, I want to make something, um, what can I make? But that's a, it's a smart way to do it, I think, is to say like what what's already possible, um, but takes more of that manual um, process, um, and then in this in this case, kind of use AI um, that you don't have to be doing the sketch and everything. You can be uh, you know using something like Stable Diffusion. It's interesting because with AI, you know, you don't always know when it, when it's something visual like this, when it's something creative, you don't always know exactly how it's going to turn out. Yeah, that's one fine looking barbecue pit. Why doesn't mine look like that? So it's kind of cool to see there's still a little fun and mystery uh, in it in the way that it interprets your initial kind of uh, kind of sketch or kind of uh, concept. And also just neat to see this AI ecosystem, like you said, you know, um, normally you have to run it on your kind of locally and that's hard to maintain. So it's just kind of cool to see all these like services um, and communities being built up around parts of, of AI, you just see how kind of deep the uh, you know the community is, which I think is cool. I actually had no idea that that was a, a part of it. It makes sense. Well, what about uh, so? What I do uh, see as being a very viable product is the other thing that you're working on, um, which is the children's book creator. 
this is an amazing concept and uh, hopefully you can kind of do the same thing that you did for Dress by AI and just kind of tell us a little bit about, um, you know, the idea here. Um, the, the, I love hearing about the tech stack uh, is cool for this, um, but I'm really interested because I was playing around with this last night and I think this is a phenomenal idea. Um, thank you. And uh, yeah, we, so this is the next project that we started working on and we enjoyed quite a lot. It, it, happened actually quite organically because I already had some experience with stable diffusion on this just by AI. So it came naturally like how we can bind text processing with nice illustrations. I know how to do them really nice and work a bit on, on getting that, that part of it well done. Mm -hmm. And it's actually something that I, I would actually use because my niece, sometimes I'm putting her to sleep and she was like, tell me a story about boar. And then she's tell me a story about bear. Mm -hmm. And then it's a boar and a bear it, together, <laughs> and yeah. you are like you have to keep coming up with those stories. Yeah, and uh, yeah, she enjoys just listening to, to whatever you come up with, uh, and having those little guidance and the illustrations for it, like that you can drive around. It, it's really nice. Yeah, no, I mean that's what's uh, you know it's so customized that the kid itself um, can be in the story and write parts of their you know yeah their favorite toy and things like that can be incorporated into the story and you can even make a series out of it, I would imagine. And yeah, I love the art style in this. Um, I, I admittedly don't know enough about sort of the visual side of AI yet. Um, so I don't know, is this uh, like a, a certain model that's that's creating this? Because they, they really, this, this art style is really cool. So uh, there was uh, some problems with it. My opponent problems with we need some solutions to get that going. It's still yep. not perfect because the consistency is uh, really struggle right now. But so basically what we do is we are using DALI, uh, which is the open AI uh, generative imaging, yep. because they have quite large clip model, which means they recognize your intentions of the illustrations quite well. Mm -hmm. It's quite good at doing exactly that, but yep. really bad at drawing that nicely. So okay. it will look okay. ugly, but the, you will have more or less the people on the screen. You will more or less have the rocket. So I'm taking that and what I learned on the image to image on the dress by AI. So I can now post process is with stable diffusion with specific model for visuals. That's so awesome. the stable diffusion is adding this layer of uniform, like more or less uniform uh, styling. That's awesome. Yeah, no, that's um, and that's just kind of an interesting, uh, you know, hearing all of these kind of, you know, using different uh, kind of models and tools to kind of get it exactly uh, right is just interesting. It's it's honestly it's. Um, it's fun. It reminds me of when I first got into software development and was, you know, kind of learning all of the, uh, you know, the, the quirks of different uh, frameworks and things like that. Like, it's just a, it's just such an exciting time. You can tell it's uh, it's it's early and that's um, that's fun, even if sometimes that might be uh, sort of frustrating for, uh, for for development.